The horror began Sunday before dawn. The first 911 call about a stabbing at James Smith Cree Nation came in at 5.40 a.m. And then more calls from multiple locations. Just after 7 a.m., a dangerous persons alert is sent out to the First Nation and surrounding communities, telling people about multiple stabbings, two suspects at large, and a warning to shelter in place. Then, just before 8 a.m., Damien Sanderson and Miles Sanderson, later confirmed to be brothers, are identified as suspects. Names and photos are shared with the same community. 23 minutes later, the alert is expanded to all of Saskatchewan. That's when police share the men are believed to be traveling in a black Nissan Rogue. At 9.45 a.m., a fourth alert is sent to the entire province. In that alert, it's revealed that people had been stabbed on the First Nation and also nearby in the village of Weldon. The Saskatchewan Health Authority issues a code orange for a mass casualty. The most seriously injured are airlifted to Saskatoon. Multiple patients were also taken uh, from the scene to hospitals in Prince Albert, Nipawin and Melfort by ground ambulance. By late morning, the dangerous persons alert is extended into Alberta and Manitoba. And around lunchtime, another public alert is issued. In it, RCMP say the suspects may have been spotted in East Regina, more than three and a half hours away from the crime scenes. In a late Sunday afternoon press conference, the scope of the tragedy is made painfully clear. Ten people were dead. Police said 15 more people were taken to hospital with injuries. Some randomly attacked, others targeted. A gruesome rampage that included 13 different crime scenes. Police agencies from across the province step up to assist with increased presence in Saskatchewan's capital. It is almost noon on Monday before RCMP provide another update. They announce Miles and Damian Sanderson are charged with several counts of murder. Warrants are issued for their arrest. The number of injured people is increased to 18. And at that point, Regina's police chief said he was still confident the brothers were in Regina. We've in our mind proven that they were in town. But then, late Monday afternoon, the scope of the investigation changes. RCMP announce Damien Sanderson was dead. His body found on James Smith Cree Nation where the attacks began. We can confirm he has visible injuries. These injuries are not believed to be self-inflicted at this point. Miles Sanderson, who police say could be injured, remains at large. Police say they still believe he'd been in Regina on Sunday just with someone else. As far as the ongoing investigation goes, we are still operating under the impression that um, Miles is in the city of Regina. At that point, a seventh dangerous persons alert is sent out to the people of Saskatchewan. As the manhunt moved into its third day on Tuesday, just before noon, RCMP issue an eighth alert. Police received and are responding to a report of a possible sighting of Miles Sanderson on the James Smith Cree Nation.